Hello pumpkin people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kristen and I'm obsessed with fall, Halloween, Christmas, cozy vibes, and that's what I talk about here on my channel. Today we're heading into the at-home store. They have fall and Halloween decor. Today I'm gonna show you the Halloween stuff. It was too much to show all at once. I think more people are excited for Halloween than fall when it comes to the at-home store. I could be wrong, but I do wanna kind of preface this video before we get in there and let you guys know that when I was filming, I was talking to the camera as one does, and I was saying the prices out loud and just trying to be a real YouTuber. But when I played the footage back, all you can hear is the copyrighted music in the background. So I am gonna have to voice over this video, which requires me to obviously mute the video. So I'm sorry if I can't tell you the pricing on everything. I know you guys like to know pricing, but, um, I just I was saying it out loud and not zooming in on the price tag so I apologize when I do my fall video you will see as many price tags as possible I promise also at the end of this video I have a very tiny little haul and a pumpkin patch update probably the most asked questions over the past year have been about growing pumpkins I'm gonna give you guys an update because the people want to know all three of you who have been asking me I'm gonna be answering your questions at the end of this video so stay tuned for that but first let's go see some Halloween decor <laughs> So I ran right over to the jack-o'-lanterns. I don't know why I was so excited to see these, but I was. These are $9.99 and I love the black ones. They also have just like the standard foam pumpkin. This size is also $9.99, but they come in a smaller one for $5.99. And I love, love, love these stacked jack-o'-lanterns. I really kind of want this one but we just did a garage sale today and I really feel like I don't need to add more stuff, but I don't know. So I love those and I also love the big boy, this guy. I love the photos I see people take with him. So I had to take my own, which you guys probably saw in the thumbnail. It's just so exciting to see this. It's literally huge. They also have this selection of drinking cups. Um, these feel like a little bit more childish i don't mean that in a bad way they're just a little bit more whimsical like the designs on them um obviously these are wine glasses so these ones i guess are probably meant for the adults but i'm hoping to see some more really cute like tumblers and things like that i definitely want to pick one up this year for halloween One of the first things to come out here at the at-home store are these little uh, skull potion bottles for $2.99 this year. Don't remember what they were last year, but I think that's a very reasonable price. So I see the iridescent and the black. I'm sure the green and the purple, maybe orange are to come. Um, I saw this kind of skeleton raven on a skull. I think that's so cool. But these skulls for $5.99, and then I think we saw cauldrons a moment ago as well. Those you can get at the Dollar Tree, so save you know a little bit of money and try to pick those up at the Dollar Tree uh, because they're a little bit overpriced here, I would say. And a lot of times I get questions when I've done videos here before, do they do sales? And I've only ever seen sales like towards the end of a season. And I think one time they sent out a 10% coupon, a 10% off coupon. So the at-home store is not really somewhere that I wait for a sale. I look at the items and decide if I think they're worth the price. And if they are, I pick them up when I see them because it's not too often that they end up having a sale here in time to you know pick something up and decorate with that with it for that season. I don't know if you guys can tell from 
the footage, but this cookie jar or candy bowl, whatever you would use this for, is absolutely massive. I think for the price, which is $24.99, that's pretty fair. Um, I'd rather pay $24.99 for that than say like $24.99 for this platter or this bowl here. So my recommendation of this entire collection would definitely be that skull canister or cookie jar, whatever it is. So I'm pretty sure I'm rambling on uh, something about this piece right now, but it's just this book that has a like Grim Reaper coming out of it and he lights up in two different spots. So they have a lot of light up pieces I'm noticing, which is pretty cool. They also have these two outdoor, well, they don't have to be outdoor. Maybe they're not even meant for the outdoors, but those two signs, which I did not get pricing on. And then this giant skeleton, he looks like he's deep in thought or like he's bored, I don't know. But he is $70 and if you take a look at the tag, I'm switching back and forth because he's originally priced at I think $60 and then they slapped a new price tag on for $70. So the pricing has gone up since they produced these pieces, I'm not surprised. We talked about this in the Michaels video that everything is more expensive right now, which stinks, but I don't know. You guys are going to be seeing that a lot. I think at the at-home store, I noticed it on quite a few things and I don't know what to say except for it is what it is. Now this pumpkin kind of confuses me. I think it's really, really cool. It says that it lights up, but I was looking for anywhere where it could, you know, have a little spot for lights to come out of. I don't see it. I'm guessing that the walls are a little bit thin in this pumpkin that allow the light to kind of um, shine through or something, but I could not see where that lights up from. Um, they also have these tall bandana looking candles. Uh, these candles are very similar to the candles that Dollar Tree carries, but I don't think the Dollar Tree has that exact print, but I feel like that could be a DIY. These pumpkins remind me of some pumpkin statue things that we saw at Home Goods in my last video, which I'll link down below if you haven't seen it. They had so much good stuff there and a lot of it. So that's a must watch video. And like I said, it'll be linked down below. This collection looks very much like it's for children or just somebody who likes something fun, whimsical, funny, cute. These pumpkins remind me of one that I also saw at Home Goods that one of you guys let me know was a dupe for Grandin Road pumpkins. This one's definitely a little bit more cartoony, but could be a fun one to add to that collection if you collect those. So they have tons of fall and Halloween yard stakes. A few years ago, I bought a couple of these candy corn ones and our house, it just does not have like a great outdoor area to decorate in the front. So I haven't been able to use them. I did sell one today at my garage sale and I told the girl I was so happy she was buying it because I think they're so cute. This for $30, um, I don't know. <laughs> What do you guys think of that? When you see it, let me know. Um, but yeah, they just have a ton of choices from fall to Halloween. I think a lot of these are really cute. And then they have a really good Halloween candle selection. 
Their fall candle selection is way better though. They have so many fall candles and they all smell amazing. So I'll definitely be showing you guys those when I film the fall half of this video. By the way, a lot of these candles are the bleeding kind where I believe that they're red in the inside so when they melt it looks like they're bleeding. These two aren't, but look at these ghosts. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I would never be able to light these because it would ruin their face, but I just love those. I think they're the most adorable thing I've seen here. I know I was saying here that this candle looks like a little kid skeleton who has to pee. Like he looks like he's crossing his legs and he's got to go. But I still thought he was really fun. And this one with the top hat, I just, I don't know what it is. You put a top hat on something, it's instantly cute. I love that. They also have the crown if you're into, you know, the king, queen stuff. And this collection, I'm assuming they're going to have a some kind of a garden Halloween collection, which I love. This candle smelled really nice. I had to smell it twice because it actually reminded me of Christmas more than anything, but it smelled really good. They also have this mushroom, and you guys, I'm seeing mushrooms all over for fall this year. And if you've watched my previous Joann's videos, Joann's has been doing mushrooms for a few years now. And that's one of the reasons why I love Joann's. Not to get off topic, but I just feel like they're always ahead of the game. And I love the mushroom look. Um, I actually have some in my home. But these are just some really fun pumpkins. Black and white, pretty neutral. Will fit anybody's style. Spooky. And the other one did light up. I'm pretty sure you guys could tell, but in case you couldn't, the one with the rats did light up. This pillow not a huge fan of but I thought this one was so cute broom hair don't care $17.99 I love that all right you guys that's what my at home store has for Halloween it's not a ton yet it's also about a month behind than what it was in 2019 when all was right in the world I'm happy to start seeing it though. I think when I come back for the fall decor, they will hopefully have more out. The cash register person was like, wow, I can't believe we have Halloween. You know, everyone says that anytime you're shopping early. And I was like, yeah, I know it's early. It's actually a little bit later than you guys normally put it out. And she's like, my manager just said that he wished people would stop calling and asking if they have Halloween. And I wanted to be like, that was me all 50 times. I don't know, there must be some other crazy Halloween fall people here in Northwest Ohio though. So anyways, as I said in the beginning of this video, I do have a little tiny haul and a pumpkin patch update. The two kind of relate. That's why we're doing, doing it like this. So what I got, and I'm just gonna show you one of them because the other one fell out of the bag and like rolled under a seat and I'm not trying to get it. But I did, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this guys? I did get this pumpkin here. It looks very real. It, I mean, like they even, I don't know if that's on purpose, but like there's even imperfections on it. Um, and it's this kind of grayish, bluish kind of a color, like a lot of the sort of heirloom pumpkins that you see, uh, the specialty pumpkins that you see at farms and stuff. This was $20 and the smaller one that I got was $6 dollars I think you guys will see them for sure in my next haul video again a better view of them so I don't typically buy faux pumpkins I love to decorate with real pumpkins the problem with decorating with real pumpkins though is that you can't decorate until they're available which is like the beginning of September and I'm trying to decorate in like July 
you know? So last year I decided to grow just a few of my own. I just gave them the little tiniest spot and I grew the minis and it was so successful and fun. I loved it. You guys loved it. A lot of you said you're growing pumpkins this year after you saw me have success with them. But um, I also got a lot of comments from people saying like, how do you get them to grow? I've grown them and they all died. Have you dealt with this bug and that bug? And I was like, what? No, I didn't, I didn't deal with any of that. So anyways, I expanded my pumpkin garden this year. I expanded my cut flower garden. It's actually a working cut flower garden now where I'm able to produce multiple bouquets a week to sell them. It's been great, but I gave about a third of my area to my pumpkin so that I could grow, I think five different kinds. And I'll insert a picture of what the pumpkin patch is looking like right now. I also have some potted pumpkins. I'll, I'll show you what those look like. The problem is that because you guys made me aware of the different pests that you can face when you grow pumpkins, I started to look into them just in case I would happen to get them. And I was outside yesterday and I saw what no pumpkin grower ever wants to see. And it was this nasty little black and red moth. So I'll try not to go too far into depth because not everybody cares, but this moth um, lays eggs on the base of your pumpkin vines. And when those eggs hatch, they turn into this larva that drills a hole into your pumpkin vines and eats the vines from the inside out. And very quickly, it can kill an entire pumpkin crop. I mean, this is something that pumpkin farmers struggle with because they grow on such a large scale. They just kind of, I think they overplant so that when they lose some, they still have some to sell. But if you're growing in a backyard like I am, you only have a handful of plants. So um, unfortunately, I found their eggs on my pumpkin stems and they're very hard to find. And um, I took as many of them off as I could find. That doesn't mean that there's not gonna be more of these moths that come by and lay eggs on my pumpkin. So I'm kind of preparing for the worst and assuming that I might not have pumpkins this year. I mean, every single potted pumpkin had multiple eggs on it. So that is why I went ahead and purchased some pumpkins so that I can decorate early because I might not have a pumpkin harvest this year, unfortunately, and it's such a bummer. I'm so upset by it. Yesterday I was like moping around. My husband was like, could tell that I was just so upset. He's like, can I do anything for you? Can I get you dinner? Um, which was very sweet, but it just, if you know, you know, if you garden, then you know that it is such a bad feeling when it doesn't work out because gardening takes time, effort, money, patience, all of the above. And when it goes to crap, it feels like such a waste. Unfortunately, this means I probably won't be able to grow pumpkin successfully next year at my house because these um, moths, they overwinter in your soil. Once you get them in your yard, it's likely that they're there. And that's why pumpkin farmers do not plant their pumpkin patches in the same spot for at least three years. So that's the tea on the pumpkin patch. I'm going to do everything I can to save them. I have ordered different things to treat it and I'm going to extreme lengths by checking all of my plants morning and night but we'll see say a prayer for my pumpkin patch you guys I hope you enjoyed this video I will be back again with a fall version of it thank you for spending time with me and I will catch you in a future video bye now